Hi and welcome to Car Seat Libraries UK. This video is all about the Britat's Advancefix M i size. The Britat's Advancefix M i size, it's a new car seat. We've only just got it in the libraries. It's only just launched in the UK. Um, it is an i size car seat, forward facing only. So that does mean that the minimum your child can go into this is from 76 centimetres and 15 months. Okay, they have to be both. Um, I would still recommend that you consider rear facing a 15 month old, but if you do want to use this car seat, then legally that's the minimum you can use it. Your harness extends up to 102 centimeters or 21 kilo weight limit. And then your harness stows away in the back of the seat and it converts to be a high back booster. And you can use it as a high back booster up to 150 centimeters. It fits with the Isofix and a top tether when you're using the five point harness. When you're using it as a high back booster, then you fit it with just the Isofix or nothing at all, okay? You don't need your top tether. Um, what this does means is that it's quite compatible. So if you are in a car with Isofix and a top tether point, then the seat should fit your car. So straight into the fitting. At the back of the seat here, okay, what you've got is in here is a grey handle. Pull that grey handle forward, that extends your Isofix, okay? Go in this little bag at the back and bring your top tether around to the front of the seat. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is now click your Isofix on, spin the seat around and line it up with where the Isofix points are in the car. Okay, and what you don't want to do at this point, don't push the seat onto the Isofix because what can happen is the Isofix will ratchet back into the seat. So what you want to do is take your thumb and put your thumb behind this big red square. Okay, and the square is where the Isofix arm is. And you're going to push your thumb behind that red square and push the Isofix arm onto your Isofix point. Okay, so just push it on and it will go green and it makes it really super easy to fit. Okay, so push it on and it's gone green. Okay, and it's fitted on this side as well. And then what you want to do is take the seat and push it in to the vehicle seat. Okay, and that's it fitted with your Isofix. And then take your top tether and with your top tether, pass it over. The top of the seat there you will notice that i've removed my headrest because my headrest was interfering with the fit of the top tether strap so i've removed my headrest and you do want to take your headrest out if you find that it is in the way of where the top tether strap naturally falls um or if your headrest is like pushing the seat forward or it's resting on the top of the car seat for example you just want to take the headrest out altogether if you are removing your headrest make sure you keep it in the boot or somewhere safe don't have it in the cab of the car because if you crash it'll fly around and could hit someone so our Isofix is fitted. We're going to clip our tether on now. So we'll go around to the boot of the car. My top tethers are in the boot, but your top tether point could be anywhere. It could be in the back of the seat. Your top tether could be in, you know, crazy places in your boot, could be in the roof of the car. So if you're not sure where your top tether point is, um, check your car handbook because your car handbook will tell you where it is. In my car, as you can see, they're really easily accessible and really well marked. Okay, so I've got the top tether symbol. Take your top tether point, um, top tether hook, sorry, and hook it onto the point there, just making sure that it's all straightened and twisted. The next thing we need to do is take the slack off the top tether strap. Now, I find it easiest to actually let my boot cover come down here in my car, okay? And then what I do is take my top tether strap and I'm pulling all the slack off that was on my top tether okay so keep pulling and what you've got at the back here is there's a green indicator which i'll show you in a second okay so i pulled that tight this top tether can then also sit down in the back of the car okay and what you can see here is the top tether strap is nice and tight and it's not twisted which is great i'll show you the green indicator now okay the green indicator lives at the top of the headrest up here Okay, so it'll stretch out and as long as you've got a good finger's width of green and the webbing behind it is nice and straight, then the seat is fitted. Okay, so this seat is fitted safely in the car. Um, if you find that you've got a bit of a gap down here, that's absolutely fine. It's not a problem at all. It's not unsafe. Okay, so you can have a floating Isofix installation. That's no problem whatsoever. Okay, so if you find you've got a gap there, don't worry. It's not a problem. Um, the reason it's not a problem, just in case you are wondering why that's safe, is your Isofix is attaching your car to the chassis of your vehicle and your top tether is controlling any forward movement of the car seat um, but also absorbing energy. So it makes no difference if there's a, a gap here or not, okay? Um, I did say that you've got a recline on this seat, okay? So you can recline the seat in all group stages and it's just a handle at the bottom here and it doesn't make any difference to the fitting of the seat, okay? So you can freely recline the, high, it, the seat 
when it's fitted, but also in any group stage. So even if it's a high back booster, you can still recline the car seat, okay? So um, that's the recline and how you fit the seat. Um, because the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to operate the um, harness. I'll do that now, actually. So to operate your harness length, put your finger in here and push down and pull your straps forward, okay? And then what you've got at the top of the headrest up here, it's a little handle, squeeze that handle and your harness extends up and down, okay? So it's nice and easy to do it and you can do it with the seat in situ. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and release my top tether because the next thing we're going to look at is um, converting it into a high back booster. Um, so to convert it into a high back booster, um, I'm gonna take the top tether off and take the seat out just so you can see. Now, you can convert it into a high back booster with the seat in situ, um, but just so you get a good view of what I'm doing, I'm gonna take the seat um, off the Isofix and the top tether. Okay, so I'll just be a jiffy. And to release your top tether, what you wanna do is actually pull that little silver bracket forward, push it forward, and that'll... That will release your tether, okay? So it's nice and uh, easy to get off the top tether point. So I'm just gonna leave that bit up there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit over here, hello, and I'm gonna put you guys in the holder here. Okay, and I'm gonna shut the door over, but not tight because I've just done that when I was doing a different take and um, locked myself in the car because it's got child locks on the doors. So, oh, right, let's pull this over here. Thank you for bearing with me, guys. Right, okay, so, um, here we go. Right, good view, you can see that? Right, everyone can see clearly, fantastic. So, what we're going to do now is convert this seat into a high back booster. To do this, what you need to do is open your buckle okay and you've got this fabric is all poppered okay you've got two poppers at the top two poppers in the middle and two at the bottom okay so undo your top poppers which are there obviously i've already undone mine take a peg and just peg it to the top of the headrest material okay and what that will do is actually just keep that headrest out the way just while you're converting the seat undo your poppers down here okay and then pull forward and there are two more poppers at the bottom to do so with your um, harness, what you want to do is open up the harness pad, okay, and you've got corresponding Velcro here, and you're just Velcroing that and pulling these pads right over to the side, okay? So pull them right the way over to the side, and do the same on this side, so, and pull over to the side. The next thing you've got is with your buckles, you've got little... Um, sort of cavities in here to put your buckles, okay? So one buckle tongue goes in that side. One buckle tongue goes in that side, okay? And then the other thing you've got is a little sort of gap in the plastic there to actually put the shoulder part of the straps in, okay? And what that does is it keeps the pads all nice and tight and in position so they won't go moving around on you, okay? So that's what it looks like. Take your tail here, pull it tight, and like, you, like I said, you can see it holds everything into position, okay? Now, the next thing you've got, which I'll just tip the seat up so you can see, is this little bracket here, okay? And what you wanna do is, let me just do so you can still see, lift it up and slide it backwards, okay? Because that's gonna give you a secure guard. And just poke your buckle through the fabric and flip it round, okay? This is called flip and grow. And this thing here is called the secure guard, okay? And your lap belt goes under this when you're child using it as a high back booster. So flip it around, keep that little hole pointing towards the back of the seat and your buckle goes under where your child's bottom would be. So push that under and slide that back into place. And then on this little plastic gray plate, you've got the letter B and a corresponding B on this fabric. That's just telling you what slot to put the secure guard through. Poke the plastic through first, okay? And then the rest of your um, padding can come through. Repopper your fabrics, okay? I'm not gonna do all of them just for not taking up a load of time. And then release this bit down here. 
Okay, and that's the seat then looking as a high back booster. With this bit, you can roll it up and pop it under the fabric if you want to, okay? It doesn't really matter all that much. Um, with your headrest, what you might notice now though, is it still won't extend upwards, okay? So what you need to do is if you turn it around, one thing you can do is store your top tether back in the bag because remember as a high back booster, we don't need to use our top tether, okay? So that can go back in the bag here and you notice you've got this grey button here okay so get that grey button and push it upwards okay and what that does is it releases the headrest then to be a high back booster so let me pull this back around and what I'll do is if I move that so you guys can see clearly is you then have your high back booster headrest extension okay and it extends really really tall so it's got a really good height on it and like I said even as a high back booster you can still recline the car seat okay and then what you do is you take your seat belt your seat belt would pop through this little guide at the top here and then with your child sat in the car seat you would have them sat in the seat and this would go between their legs so just like the crotch strap the buckle that they're already used to and it comes through and clicks in okay and this roots the seat belt really nicely from the hip to their shoulder and the secure guard actually prevents them from submarining out from under the seat belt but it also stops them from wriggling around and it stops the seat belt coming up on their tummy and it reduces the abdominal load by about 35 percent okay so it has got quite a unique safety feature for your secure guard there so that is our video on the Brit Arts Advanced Fix M I size. So like I said, it's um, we've shown you how to fit it. So Isofix top tether when you're using the harness, um, Isofix only or nothing at all when you're using it as a high back booster with the seat belt. Um, we've had a look at the recline, which is a really good deep recline on it, and then also converting it into high back booster mode as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, Facebook, please give me a like or a comment and I will see you all again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.